Python can be used for anything from arithmetic to algorithms, websites to video games, robotics, machine learning, mobile applications, and more. Python is extremely powerful and versatile for experienced programmers, and yet it's still one of the simplest languages for beginners to learn. Hi, my name's Sarah. I'm a software developer. I'm filming from the lands of the Paramount people where sovereignty was never ceded, and I'm here to talk to you today about learning Python. When you're choosing a coding language to learn, there are a number of things to consider, like how well does it suit your personality and your ambitions? What is it like to learn the language? What are your career prospects? And what can you actually build? What can you create? We're going to cover all of these things today and help you decide whether Python is the language for you. So what sort of person would choose to study Python? Python is often taught early on in many computer science degrees because you can learn a lot of important programming concepts in a language that's quite simple. Learning to program in Python is a great choice for anyone who's thought about doing a computer science degree but isn't ready to commit to a full program. And on the other hand, if you're totally new to the world of coding and you're feeling a bit overwhelmed by all of the options, Python's simplicity and versatility make it a great choice for anyone who's just getting started. Python is what we call a general purpose language, which means it can be used for a multitude of different tasks and it isn't specialized to a particular circumstance. So Python's a great choice for anybody who identifies as a jack of all trades. Now, it does have its particular strengths. It's a language that lends itself really well to data. If you're someone who's worked a lot with spreadsheets, if you love working with formulas and macros, if you've ever worked with databases or data sets, Python's capabilities for automation and data manipulation will take you to the next level. If you see yourself working long-term with data-driven technologies like data science, artificial intelligence, and machine learning, Python is a must-have in your toolkit because of its powerful features and its strong data community ties. As an open source language, it's not owned by any one group or corporation, so anyone can participate in building and sharing the language. So what is it like to learn Python? Python is a great choice for beginners who might be feeling intimidated by the idea of learning to code because of its simple structure and its easy learning curve. Python beginners are less likely to get discouraged and as your skills grow, you'll discover more and more things that you can do with this language. Python is a high level language, which means it looks a lot more like everyday English than some other computer languages. And among the popular high level languages like C Sharp, JavaScript, and Ruby, Python is the one that is most commonly recommended to beginners. Compared to other languages, the Python syntax is really simple and straightforward, so you can focus on learning fundamental concepts and logic instead of trying to memorize a complicated set of rules. Getting into coding as a beginner can be daunting, but rest assured you don't need any special skills to get started. You don't need to know advanced maths and you don't need a background in IT. All you'll need is a relatively modern computer, some basic tech savvy like the ability to access your online banking, and most importantly, you'll need curiosity and a dedication to learning and experimentation. As with any new skill, it takes time to learn and to master. So while the learning curve is fairly simple to begin with, you'll still need to put in the hours and the months and the years if you want to become a seasoned Python programmer. So once you've learned Python, what are your career prospects? Knowledge of Python will make you a competitive candidate on the job market as its applications are so broad and it integrates with a lot of other languages and platforms. Plus, knowing Python will show prospective employers that you know fundamental programming concepts which can be applied to other languages or tasks that you might need to learn while you're on the job. With Python, you're sure to have a career that keeps you interested. And this is part of the beauty of learning to code. You can leverage your in-demand skills and follow your passions. Pretty much all industries use Python, whether that's finance, law, 
entertainment, healthcare, government, space, the list goes on. No matter what you're interested in, you can find work as a Python programmer. And what sort of things can you expect to be able to do with your Python skills? As a general purpose language, Python can be used for all sorts of things like web scraping, cybersecurity, automation, robotics, desktop applications, web applications, mobile applications. I could go on and on. One interesting example of Python in the wild is Instagram. Instagram claims to be one of the largest deployments of Django, which is a framework used for building websites and web applications using Python code. Another interesting example of Python in the wild is Netflix. Netflix uses Python across their organization for things from cybersecurity to data science to business operations. So no matter where their developers are working in the organization, they can all speak the same language. Now, as well as being really generally versatile, Python is also extremely useful for the cutting edge data-driven technologies that are revolutionizing the ways that we live and work, especially when it comes to data science, artificial intelligence, and machine learning. Let's break those down for a moment and explore some of the ways that they're implemented. Data science is a multidisciplinary field that seeks to make sense of big piles of information. Applications like Netflix and Spotify use data science to analyze huge amounts of data about what their users are listening to and watching. This data forms the foundation of their recommendation engines and at a higher level, this can be used by people in the business to analyze and drive industry trends. Artificial intelligence is all about using a computer to make decisions and solve problems. If you've ever played chess against a computer, the computer will use artificial intelligence to analyze all of the possible outcomes and make a decision about which move to take next. Machine learning allows a system to learn new things based on data. Spotify makes use of Python's extensive machine learning capabilities to build a picture of each user and then create personalized curated playlists that help listeners discover their next favorite band. While there are other languages you can use for these data-driven technologies, Python's passionate community of programmers and academics and hackers have leveraged the core features of the language to build tools that can do amazing things like create computer-generated artworks from neural networks and connect smart devices in your home and help medical professionals analyze diagnostic data. So there you go, there are many wonderful reasons to choose Python as a language to learn and master. Its simple learning curve makes it a great choice for beginners, especially if you're feeling a little bit intimidated by the whole thing. And it's really powerful and versatile for experienced programmers. It's especially important for the data-driven fields like data science, AI, and machine learning and you'll find a strong community in Python who have the tools and resources to help your ideas grow. Learning to code in Python is like learning any new skill, whether you're learning a language like French or Japanese or learning a musical instrument like the guitar. You don't need any predisposition or proclivities to become a coder, but you do need a cultivated curiosity and a dedication to learning and growth. If you think Python is for you, check out our Python Primer course on the School of Code. In this course, you'll learn the fundamentals of programming in Python, which will set you up to be able to build simple applications and give you the confidence to move into more specialized fields and maybe even take one step closer to landing an internship in the tech industry. If you have any questions about Python, please let us know. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you later. Bye.